affiliated with the... Uh, What's your role? In this orchestra, I'm the conductor and the music director of the Central Texas Med Orchestra. Right. Setting the scene here. Right. Absolutely. Okay. I should have the time. Okay. Okay. Why did you get involved in this medical orchestra? Well, Walter uh, Leitch and I have been involved in uh, another orchestra project, the Balcones Community Orchestra, for quite a few years. And his dream has been to get a medical group together to raise funds for the medical profession. And uh, he asked me to be involved, and I took on the project because it sounds like a really neat one. So, you know, now that you guys are getting underway with this project, doing practices for your October debut, what do you think of it? Well, it's a tremendous project. It's a lot of fun. You know, getting together with musicians is always fun. Um, and medical people are uh, always an interesting uh, aspect, or slice of life. And when they, they combine medical people with musicians, I mean, it's, it's, uh, you can't be beat. So we have a great time playing great music um, and uh, bringing uh, some of the community, raising money for organizations. Uh, it's great all the way around. How important is it for the medical community to uh, blow off steam? Well, I can only imagine. I mean, as a musician, even, you want to play music, maybe you don't want to play more music at the end of the day, but sometimes we do, just to get away from uh, all the, the strictures of regular organized behavior, where you get together with just some friends and play. And, you know, they say it's play the violin. It's not work the violin. We play music. So when you get together, it's really about having fun, and it's, everyone needs that, I think. Uh, I encourage everyone. I think people with especially stressful jobs, for instance, those in the medical field, uh, where there's a lot of responsibility and a decision they make. But a lot of fun to just get together and just play, where if you make the occasional mistake, nobody even notices. Right? And, and, and there's a lot of value in that release that that comes from that point. So right now, who do you kind of have on your team? Well, we got about 30 players. Um, the Austin <laughs> music scene, as you know, is a wide variety, a lot of people involved. Um, uh, difficulty is uh, getting people to, uh, to rehearse on a given night. Busy and of course, music musicians lead very complicated lives. Doctors lead complicated lives. Um, right now, we haven't put the whole team together, but we have about 30 people who say they're likely. And it all depends on how things go at, in the actual rehearsal nights coming up. I'm looking forward to being about 40 or 45 players. Um, and we have uh, some soloists who play with us already. Mid uh, Jessica Mattis, uh, the concertmaster of Austin Symphony, is going to open up our program uh, October 26th. Um, Saturday night, she's going to play uh, La Vivaldi, uh, one, of the, one of the Four Seasons, another great piece of classical music, and then another wonderful romantic piece called The Introduction in Rondo Capriccioso by Sanson, which is a lovely, uh, actually kind of hysterically romantic and passionate piece. Uh, and then uh, we're going to end up with the concert with uh, uh, Randy Phillips, who's the pastor uh, you know, at Life Austin Church and has a phenomenal music career going on his own. Um, He's going to play with us. We're going to back him up in the, in the, as the conclusion of the concert for a couple of songs. And in the middle, we're going to play some classical music. The whole thing may be 75 minutes long, fun all the way through. For, uh, as far as those in the medical community who are going to be joining in and playing, are we talking, you know, like uh, heart surgeons, dentists? Uh, are... We're not ruling out anyone. If they're a heart surgeon, we're going to let them in. If they're a dentist, we're going to let them in. Nurses, uh, physical therapists, people who are involved in making people's lives better on that level, in that field. We're not saying no, we're, we're, be, we're being inclusive. We want people to be involved. So um, there's still time to join? Absolutely. We want people to be interested, uh, to, to, to get a hold of me. Um, it, it's an audition group, but mostly it's just to find out who's going to play. I'm not involved in keeping a lot of people out. I want to bring people in. So yes, absolutely. We're still looking for some more players. For those in the medical community who have already jumped on board, have you gotten sort of an idea from them why they decided to do that? Have they said that I'm just stressed and I just need some a good release? Or you know, it's been very short. Basically, I sent emails. And they just say yes. Uh, you know, it's the kind of thing I think they don't have to explain. They know it's the same discussion. Yes, people need to get out of the house one out of the week. They need to get away from their job one out of the week. Maybe even their families. I'm not sure about that. That's a possibility. But just the idea of getting away and doing something for fun. So they don't have to explain to me what, you know, uh, and I don't, I don't ask any questions. I just said, you're interested, are you available? And they say, yes. Anything I haven't asked you that you'd like to add? 
Uh, we're going to give three more concerts the course of the year. One around in early December, one in February around uh, Valentine's Day. That's going to be a wonderful concert with Susan McDonald playing a great piece, uh, the concerto Aran Ref, um, Rodrigo. Um, we play in, in spring in early May. And uh, we're hoping to have tremendous musical experience and raise some money and give back to the Austin community. Great. Thank you. Sit right there while I just double check to make sure you Perfect. Thank you so much. Ashley, we also might want to mention we booked the guy Forsyth and um, Sir Hickman. Okay. Like, throw prop stuff on okay. <coughs> as well known names. Well, uh, in our, our more popular contemporary uh, artists, or who call it our guest artists, uh, Sarah Hickman is going to play with us in uh, December, and Guy Forsythe is going to play at our Valentine's concert on February 15th. So there'll be two guitar players on that concert. It'll be a lot of fun. So there's going to be a few be very large production. Well, it, it's an orchestra concert with a little extra special spice is what we're looking for, a little extra flavor. Thank you. Thank All right.